All right, we're here for post game with uh, Coach Gibbs and Ryan Carter coming off a 17 point victory for the Warriors over Barnstable. Um, Coach, I think it goes without saying that the first five games of the season may not have gone the way that you wanted, but how important was it for you guys to get in the W column today? Yeah, it was, it was obviously really important, I think, just for, um, you, you know, just the confidence of the guys. You know, they, I was just saying to them in the locker room, like, they, they really deserve this one today, you know, and I'm just happy for them. Um, obviously, a, a tough start as far as wins and losses. Um, you know, we went out there with a really young and inexperienced team, a team with a lot of guys that have never played at the varsity level before, a lot of guys that have a totally different role than they did last year, uh, even if they did get some minutes last year, and, um, you know, played the, without a doubt the toughest opening schedule that I've ever had in my, in my 10 years as the coach. I mean, we played Mansfield and Franklin, two teams that are in the top 10 in the state. Um, at Milford, always a tough place to play. They've got two returning all-stars and a, a lot of really big, strong physical bodies. And then this, this Barnstable team, who's Division One, they were 5-1 and one coming into today. Um, and they've, they, they have four kids that started last year as sophomores that are back now starting as juniors. So, you know, we, we had a gauntlet of teams that we played, not exactly conducive to, uh, you know, a, a soft landing for a young team. Yeah. Um, but even with that, you know, these guys have come in every single day. They work so hard in practice. They, they're so coachable. Uh, they've really hung in there. And um, I'm just happy that now they're starting to get the reward and get the results from all that work and sometimes you have to go through that sometimes that's part of the process you have to lose before you can win you have to go through that failure and you have to see um, you know what, what's going to lose games before you can, as you learn what's going to win games and see the things that you have to do consistently for 32 minutes um, but I kept saying to the guys the last couple days like all it's going to take is one we just got to get one win okay and you guys will relax out there and the, and the ball will start going in and, and hopefully that's what happened here today I thought we had a really good game on both ends of the court and I think now we'll hopefully settle in and, and, uh, and get on a little bit of a run from here now that the, the, the pressure comes off yeah. a little bit. Uh, Jay Gordon and I were on the call and, and we, we I think we noted that it, it felt like a lot of the success today was driven from from the defensive end. Yep. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, obviously, it always starts with there. Starts there for us is, is on the defensive end. 43, um, 43 points. It's That's awesome to allow 43 points. And, you know, um, if nothing else, okay, you know, this team has a lot of great athletes on this team. And so, you know, we're trying to turn them loose a little bit. We're trying to, you know, extend our defense full court a little bit more than maybe we have in the past and use our depth a little bit more than we have in the past and use our defense and use our athleticism as, as a real uh, weapon and try to create some offense off of our defense. Um, we weren't happy with our ball pressure the first time we played Barnstable, so that was a huge emphasis today. And I think you saw that that reaped a lot of benefits. Um, Cam Dulesky in particular, I thought, really gave us a lift off the bench with his defense. And so we kind of rolled with him in the second half because he was causing them fits uh, with his ball pressure. But yeah. uh, I was definitely pleased overall with, uh, with, with allowing 43 points. There's obviously always things you can clean up, but I thought we competed hard today. Yeah, and you had contributions from across the roster today. Um, Eight, eight players in the scoring column. Um, talk a little bit about the bench and just how important that is for you guys to have, you know, just a, a group that's going to all, all contribute. And yeah. No, I mean, this is one of the deeper teams we've had in a while. Uh, you know, we, th we feel like we have a lot of guys that can get out there and contribute. And we also feel like we have a lot of guys that maybe have different skill sets and can kind of do different things in different situations. So, you know, we tell them all the time, it's going to be different guys in different nights and different games, different situations, time and score are going to dictate you know, one, one night it might be one guy or two guys that play a little bit more, and then the next night it might be somebody totally different based on the matchup and what we need. Um, but this is definitely one of those teams that, you know, you can't key in on just one or two guys. There's a lot of guys out there that can hurt you. Um, and, and, I, and I, I, you know, I think this is going to be a team that over the course of the season, obviously we'll have some guys that will lead us pretty consistently, but, but I think a balanced team um, that, that shares the ball and spreads, spreads the wealth a little bit in the scoring column. And I, I think that's going to pay dividends for us and make us really tough to deal with yeah. um, as the season goes on. So we have uh, Ryan Cotter here. Ryan had a team high 19. That's what we had unofficially. Uh, he was awesome today. Um, so, Ryan, what was, you know, you guys played Barnstable last week, a week ago today, uh, five point loss. What was different today versus last week in your eyes? Um, honestly, I think effort was all similar. I think we, obviously, what coach said with ball pressure, but it was more just making shots. We knew we had like this win in us, and it, we just had to put it all together. And I think that's what we did today. So nice, 19 points. Was was that a uh, a celebration of your grandmother's 80th birthday? Is that <laughs> why you had 19? Absolutely. You got you got to say happy birthday to give her a little shout out. Happy birthday, Nanny. Nanny. 
it's and Manny's I, 80th birthday today, so. And, 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 you know, and Ryan was awesome today for sure. Um, but I think one of the biggest differences between today and last Friday at Barnstable was I thought our guards did a, a really, really, you know, good job handling their pressure. Um, last Friday at Barnstable, their pressure got to us a little bit. But today, Ryan, uh, Ryan uh, Cotter right here, Eric Walford, Cam Dulesky, Jack Campbell, those guys were outstanding in terms of, you know, their composure and their decision making. And uh, that made a big difference for us. I thought those four guys were outstanding. So, Ryan, they were playing some uh, some strong defense on you. What was uh, what was the key to success getting to the getting to the rim for you today? Um, I think I just had to figure out like like he w I was getting pressured. Same thing as last game. I just realized I just got to go strong, uh, stay under control, and you know just that's really it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. all right. So, coach, you got uh, one more non-league game. Yep. At Fian, your yep. your alma mater. Yeah, yep. What's yeah. that? That's Wednesday. That's Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday. So we're kind of into our normal rhythm now. We'll be off tomorrow, um, and then come back practice Sunday, Monday, before we head over to Fian Tuesday. So I mean, obviously, you know, they're always a good team, very good program. I went and saw their game um, against Attleboro the other night. I'm going to head over right now and catch their game against North Attleboro. So we'll we'll go through our normal process as far as how we prepare. But um, we're expecting another really good game and a team that would do really well in our league and. Um, you know, obviously we try to schedule those tough games because uh, that's what we're going to see in, in the Hockamock League. So hopefully one more game to uh, to sharpen up before we get back into league play um, at the end of next week. But Fien, it, it's an away game, but it's a really close game. Uh, like geography-wise, it's a short trip over there. So hopefully we'll see a lot of our students and a lot of our fans over there to support us. Absolutely. Uh, we got a we got a guest <laughs> guest behind. He's hard to catch. <laughs> he's hard to catch. He's he's always on the move. So uh, that's it. 17 point victory. Any other final thoughts here? No, just like I said, proud of the guys. I thought they really stepped up today, competed, and executed well on both ends of the court. So uh, just happy for them. They deserve it. It's a great group of kids, and they've worked hard. And uh, it, like I said, I, I just wanted to see them get the results from all that, and uh, just happy for them. We'll, we'll look to keep it going from here. We got a lot of basketball left to be played. Absolutely. Long season. Good to get in the win column. Congratulations. Thank you, Coach and Ryan. And uh, we'll see you Wednesday in Fian. Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. Tuesday the second in Bishop Fian. Yep. So all the folks that are out here watching, get over to Attleboro on Wednesday to support the Warriors. Yep. Congrats again, guys. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.